all right guys welcome back to another video it's your man jay so today we're going to be doing a review of the amazfit t-rex now currently this is 139 dollars uh, on the website and check the link in the description no kickbacks or anything for me just me sharing the information with you and you make your own choice of whether or not you want to grab this one or not so first let's look at the hardware this comes actually in several colors man let's pull up the colors this is khaki right here it comes in camo the camo is real dope uh, but it comes in camo khaki army green army green is dope too and then it comes in a basic black i i mean if you i would recommend you get at least the army green uh you know in in these watches because they they look beautiful man this khaki is beautiful uh but it does come uh in those four colors uh and uh, this is uh pretty nice man i'm, I'm loving the hardware uh, so on the on the top here in my first video, I, I put it in my first video, but I'll say it again here. This is up, down, select, and back. Now that was something that it took me some time to get used to coming from the other Amazfit watches. Uh, that's just something that took some time to get used to. This feels like a just a regular quartz watch. And I know that's what they're going for, like the rugged, the regular rugged watches. I know that's what they're going for, and they nailed it. Um, the first dislike I have about the watch, because I do have some dislikes, um, probably probably just one, I think, um, but um, maybe a couple. But let's get into this. Um, hardware, beautiful. They nailed it. Now, you might not, just remember, my dislikes are my dislikes. You know, when you're reviewing a product, you're just talking from your point of view. So the hardware, beautiful. Love it. Nailed it. Everything about it. However, I noticed that when I've been wearing this watch, something about this band is irritating my skin. It's giving me like some kind of rash or something. I don't know what it is, uh, but that's something that came about. So I switched and started wearing it on my right wrist today. Uh, I don't know what why it's doing this to me, but I'm gonna use some aloe vera and it'll be straightened up. Uh, it doesn't hurt. There's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't hurt, but I guess I was wearing it too tight and it was rubbing or something. I don't know. Uh, but point is, it happened to me, so I wanted to point that out. That it didn't happen with any of the other watches. Uh, so, I don't know if it's something in this uh, band that's giving me some kind of allergic reaction, but I had to point it out to you. Because some of you guys might get it and say, oh my gosh, I got a rash on my hand or a wrist, and it doesn't hurt or anything, but it just, it's weird that I got some kind of irritation from the band. And then that way, the company will know we need to check out what's going on with our bands. All right, so, now, after that, Again, hardware, build quality, everything is great. This is a rugged style watch. That's the only problem I have with the hardware so far. Now, let's go to the GPS. So you hit select up here and you start an activity. Now my two activities that I do the most are walking and um, aerobic exercise. Um, I don't turn on a watch for weight training. You know, I, I don't do it. Now the GPS positioning, it actually, when it locks on, cause I'm indoors, I have, um, inside my house is pad it very well i don't know what the deal is but i was going to say that it does lock on and here we go it locks on i suggest that you don't that took what a few seconds right i suggest that you don't start working out until you actually get your gps lock so it does lock on as you can see it locked on real time right here on video the first time i showed you this watch it didn't lock on until after i discontinued the the video but it does lock on this is high precision gps so this is this is going to be really nice for people who go um, who do some late night in their late evening running and things like that or, or biking or cycling anything like that this is definitely gonna be good for you because if something happens you've got your entire location and that is one of the main reasons I would love a watch with GPS you need to have your location so if you have to explain something um, you know they can say hey we saw you rob that liquor store and you were like wait a minute I wasn't even on that side of town prove it open up your phone <laughs> get you it sounds crazy but you know hey anything is possible you open up your phone go to the to that workout boom see here's my entire path during that time oh okay that's just a crazy example but hey you just don't know so the gps they, they say that it's high precision gps and it actually locks on and stays on man I, when i use this no gps drop no nothing it, it's fantastic so your workout um you, there's a few 14 workouts in here you can do uh, and you know I think you'll be happy with any of the ones now a workout for like my other workout is exercise so you don't get GPS for exercise because you're doing some kind of weight training or or just aerobic workout is what I, what I do when I turn on that one so and I'm just monitoring the heart rate but any of the ones where it's gonna require you to have some kind of motion um, you'll see that your GPS locks on so 
Uh, let me see here. Outdoor cycling, GPS. Yeah. Walking, outdoor running is definitely going to have GPS. Any, anything that requires you to be moving in a direction, uh, the GPS is going to lock on and then it'll track your entire trip. So one dislike about this is that I'm used to my watches just starting this on its own. Uh, but I mean, this those watches also cost a hundred dollars more, or, or, or at least a hundred dollars more. So that's the difference that you're paying for here. When you get your GPS lock outside; it locks like it locks so much faster outside. Inside my house, I notice that it takes a second, but it's not that bad because if you're if you're inside the house and you're going to turn this on, obviously you're not going to be running inside your house. <laughs> but just really had to tackle the GPS because. You know, I, I think that's important, you know, to have GPS if you're going to, when those people are cycling late in the evening or, you know, you're just going to be, and I say late in the evening, but it could be any time of day. But I notice that people always come out when the sun goes down. So that's why I'm spending a lot of time on this GPS because it's important to a lot of people nowadays. Um, they, they want to have a GPS on their watch and that's important. So the GPS, great. A dislike, it doesn't, it, I, I have to start it when I'm doing my workout and my other watches, like I said before picks up the workout GPS location going boom gone uh, so this is a military grade certified watch so it can take some bangs and you know I've obviously taken a shower with it I've, you know I forget to take it off or dunk my hand in some water or something like that or my whole arm goes in or I'm outside running or walking or anything you don't have to worry about this it'll get banged up it'll get wet it just um, keeps going now a flip side to that is when it's getting wet if the rain is hitting it it's gonna be Feel it's going to be getting the touch sensitivity of the screen. That's what's going to be happening. So keep keep that in mind if you decide, okay, I'm going to wear this in the shower or something like that. Just note that it's going to pick up the um, the the <laughs> it's going to pick up the touch touch sensitivity of the water, and in it, and it's going to it's going to just be moving the screen around basically. That's that's what's going to happen. Like when water is hitting it, it's going to be flipping through stuff. And I look down like, oh, snap. Um, yeah, it, it's moving. I have to just hit the back button or just keep going or put a passcode on it. Now, I don't put a passcode on mine because I get so many notifications. And if I don't want to check my phone, I could just look at my watch. And I don't want to keep putting the passport in. It was idle for a little bit. So that's an alternative to that. So, yeah. So battery life. The battery life is sick. Uh, it's what you would expect. It's it's not okay. Now, so I've I've charged. It says twenty days of battery life. But remember that battery life that they're quoting you now. I always tell people you got to remember this battery life that they're quoting you is not the battery life that you're going to get with your actual use. Just remember this because I have heavy heavy usage and a bunch more. Um, notifications than the average person you might have even more notifications so th the battery life is a 20-day average that's what it is you know you, you uh, I shouldn't say 20 average this is what you'll get with the least amount of usage uh, notifications basically turned off probably I don't know or one notification every 10 hours I don't know <laughs> but this is how they pretty much come up with these battery numbers and I charged mine from the time that I've had it I've charged it tw twice well one time I didn't really have to charge it but I was going somewhere and it was a 20% and I was like I'm gonna be gone for a long time you know I mean hours you know I'm gonna be way so I don't know if I should I said you know let me just charge it so I charged it so I've technically charged it twice from the time that I've had it so, you know, that gives me a real world look at this battery, which to me is fantastic. Any any battery that can last five days straight or six days straight and then it needs a charge. Hey, that's fantastic battery life on a smartwatch for real. So this has an AMOLED display uh, and it's it's really beautiful. I mean, it this is the watch face that I'm currently using. Uh, there's this watch face. I'm keeping it here. Like, let me show you some of the other watch faces here. Um, here's another one. Uh, I keep it on that particular watch face because it seems like I can read the information a little bit more. This actually makes it look like it's like a regular, like a quartz watch or something. And I didn't really like that one after putting it on there. I don't like those kind of watch faces. So I went back, I got this one right here and I called it a day with this one. This is where I'm at. 
So Watch Face is in the store for a maze fit. They have on, on the Dezep app. There's so many Watch Faces under them. It's incredible. You should always find a Watch Face that you like. However, if you notice this video, I'm gonna give you some cons or dislikes pretty much with every one. This watch right here doesn't have as many watch faces as the other other uh, Amaze Fit watches, and they're limited to the style of watch faces that I don't particularly like, which is why I continue to use this one with just all the information on here, um, and it's laid out quick for me to read, because if I don't have my glasses on, this is all blurry to me, so I need to be able to, and it's real small too already, so I need to be able to see it quickly and just jump away from it. Yeah. So that's a pro and a con. You know what I mean? You know, having such a beautiful watch with watch faces. However, uh, this watch in particular, not the other watches, this this Amaze Fit in particular, I don't care for all the watch faces that are in there. There's probably only three that I like out of the 35 or so that's in there. So that's, that's me though. You might have a different experience. So let's talk about the notifications and the way you run this watch. So if you hit the back button, it takes you back. <laughs> if you hit select, you're gonna go into your, um, your workouts Now you can actually change these things but uh, you've got up you press up it takes you to everything here it just cycles through everything up and then down obviously cycles everything down <laughs> that's it's just that simple now swiping through this watch is a little different than the other one so um, you can see the um, notifications on this watch I like how it looks it tells you app or whatever and if you have a notification on this watch, the icons are huge when they come through and you can click on it and read. That text is, is beautiful. I mean, you can see how the text is on here. It's super clear. That is really clear and I can see that very well. Now, that's swiping from to the right. If you swipe to the left, this is where this watch is different than some of the other Amazfit, the other Amazfit software. You can get your status here, your pie, your heart rate, your workouts, your activities, your weather. All that stuff is in here, but if you go down, so you've got a compass in here, and you go down to settings, this is where it's kind of buried in this device compared to the other watches. So, okay, okay, okay. Uh, and see how that notification came in? It was freaking huge and it's big and I like it. It's, it's just, it comes in great. Uh, but um, this, this is where you're gonna save, or go to your settings and everything in here. Yeah, this is nice. I believe this one, I think this one has a, pa a passcode. On screen duration. Yeah, no, this one should have a passcode. I think it does. Quick startup. No, this this is where you go in and change the select button right here. This, bu this button right here on the top select button, this is where you go in and change that at. Now right now it's set for workouts, but you can change it to your status, heart rate, weather, notifications, event reminder, and so on. There's a ton of different things you can change it to or you can disable it. I could have sworn this one had a a lock on it. I don't, I could have, and maybe I'm so used to the Amazfit software that I'm thinking that this one had a lock, um, a lock on it and it doesn't. Possibly, I mean, I'm not perfect. I could have sworn this had a lock on it somewhere, but maybe it doesn't. System about, yeah, I guess it doesn't have a lock. Um, let me see, let me, it's gotta be a lock on here somewhere. I know it does. I think I saw it on the website too. Anyway, I'm not gonna bore you with that, but that is how you navigate the watch. That is how you navigate the watch. And this is a really solid watch. The heart rate monitor is good. The sleep monitor obviously is good. Your pie, you know what I'm saying? It'll help you out, get yourself going. It's a good watch, folks. Those likes and dislikes that I pointed out, Yours might be different. You might say, well, Jay, that doesn't bother me. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm okay with it. I like this watch all the way around. So again, full review and detailed uh, look at the Amaze Fit T-Rex. Uh, if I miss something or you have a question, put it in the comments. I'll try to answer it. But I look for all you guys to help answer questions too because a lot of you guys have had this watch for quite some time. And um, hey, you guys enjoy it from what I hear. So it's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. A look at the Amaze Fit T Rex. This is a this is a winner right here, folks. I love the khaki, but the camel and the, all of them but the black. There's nothing wrong with black, but the 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 popping colors is what do it for me. This this is nice right here. Take care, folks.